Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. I hope you all had a lovely Christmas break. I'm just jumping in with a quick video to wrap up 2020 with some of my favourite products of the year. These might not all be new releases, but they are new products that have pretty much changed the game for me in 2020, so I wanted to share them all with you all. So, if you guys have not already hit subscribe, let's make sure today is the day that you hit that subscribe button, ring the bell so you don't miss any future uploads from me. And if you want to see what products were super popping for me in 2020, then just keep watching. Okay, we're going to move through this real quick because I want to get this video up for you guys tonight, hopefully. So we're going to start off with some skincare products. Skincare is obviously something that I really, really love. I don't really talk about it much on my channel because I'm not super knowledgeable at skincare. I'm not knowledgeable about ingredients and stuff. These are just things that I really like. So the first product that I love in 2020 is the Revolution Skincare Super Dewy Toner. This is a hydrating toner with smoothing stevia extract and cranberry seed oil. This is the second one I bought of this. I love this stuff. I love that it's got the super bougie pump that you like, push your cotton pad on top of and press down. I think it just feels really luxurious. I like to use this in the morning before I put on any makeup. Really don't know what it does, if anything, but I just like the way it feels in my skin. It's very bougie, very luxe feeling. It's became a real favourite of mine, hence why I bought it twice. If you guys haven't tried it, it's also super affordable, so check it out, obviously. This is just a product I really, really like. I, like I said, I don't really know what it does, but I love how it feels in my skin. I love how it makes my skin look. I think it makes my makeup go on so nice on top as well. So I would highly recommend this, especially because it is revolution after all. So it is a super good price point. Another skincare item that I have been loving this year is the Ordinary Buffet Multi Technology Peptide Serum. I was never really that big a thing about skincare before and this year I just feel like I really took a big interest in it. People go nuts for The Ordinary, it is hyped up on YouTube, it is hyped up on Instagram, it is hyped up on TikTok. The Buffy Serum is the one that I just seen a lot of reviews on that I really like the look of. This is actually the super sized one and this is my third super sized one. I use this every night. I really feel it makes my skin look so nice. I notice a huge difference to how like, clear my skin looks, like it really evens out the tone of my skin. It is something that I have become super obsessed with, so I can't be without this. I use it every night, like I said. Again, super affordable skincare. I would definitely check it out, especially because you can get it in the normal size as well. It's like half the size, so you want to get it out and try. If you don't like it, you've not wasted a ton of money. And this next product is a total game changer for me. It's pretty new. I've only been using it for a month or so. It Cosmetics Bye Bye Makeup. This is a three-in-one makeup melting cleansing balm with skin softening serum concentrate. Guys, if you have not tried this stuff, I cannot hype this up to you enough. I seen my friend Vicky using this and I had to purchase it because I just thought I'll give it a try. It's uh, kind of this white whipped balm. This is my second one. The smell of it is amazing. It smells like lemon cheesecake. That's the only way I can describe it. You put a little bit of this on and it literally, when I say it melts through all your makeup, it melts through all your makeup. Even things that I usually would find stain my eyes, like the P. Louise paints, some really bright pigmented shadows, this breaks through it all and it leaves your skin feeling so nice afterwards. So I have really, really fallen in love with this product and also Mark really loves it too and he is a very hard man to please when it comes to cleansing products but we're both in love with this so we've literally got one in every bathroom, one in the shower, backups on deck. I think this is going to be something that I'm going to be stockpiling going into the new year because this is really, really nice. I really, really, really highly recommend this one so if you've not tried it. So now we're going to go into our complexion products. So there's not been a lot of complexion this year. I feel like this year has been really mainly focused on like eye launches and that sort of thing. But a couple of new bits popped in that I really, really like. So I want to share them with you. So you guys know that I've never been the biggest fan of face primers. I always feel they don't really do much. I feel like the foundation is good, it shouldn't need a primer. I was wrong. So there's been two primers this year that have really changed the game for me. Both of them I've actually mentioned in multiple videos before, so it shouldn't be a surprise to you guys. But the first one is the XX Revolution Cloud Complexion Primer. This is like, again, much like my it Cleansing Balm. Much like my it Cosmetics Cleansing Balm. This is also a kind of whipped formula. This one's got a really nice kind of spa-like scent. It's literally like what the name says. It is like a cloud when you touch it. The texture of it is so unique. I think this is really nice to use as a base for your makeup, but I would never use it on its own. I team it with something else. But I love the way this feels on the skin. It makes your skin just feel so moisturized, so plump, so like, so your makeup goes on so nicely on top of it. Again, this is from the Makeup Revolution family of products, so you know that it's in that affordable price point, but this is that little bit extra bougie, the XX Revolution range is that little bit more bougie. I did do a full video of the products from 
XX Revolution when they first launched, which I'll link below. But this primer, guys, has became a really big part of my routine. This is my second one, almost done, and I've got a third on deck because you know I'm all about that backup life. And then again, would be no surprise to you guys if we're talking primer and we're not talking about the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow Primer, what are we doing with our lives? This one has only been out for a few months and it is literally probably my favourite primer of all time. I love the feeling of it. It is super hydrating on the skin. It's got hyaluronic acid, it's got agave extract, it really hydrates my skin. It really plumps it up. My skin always looks bomb with this underneath. And it's really good because even if you're wearing like a really full coverage foundation, something super full coverage matte, that sort of thing, this will give you that kind of radiance coming through. So I really, really recommend this one. It's a gripping primer, so it goes kind of sticky. But it just makes this make the makeup look amazing and stay on so long in my opinion. I did a code last weekend with Urban Decay for 30% off if you guys missed it. You should be following me on Instagram. I posted them with it lots on there. It's fireworks. What's going on? It's 4 o'clock on New Year's Eve, not even 4 o'clock. Um, this one, everyone messaged me saying I got this primer. I love it so much. People know this is my favourite primer. So if you guys have not got this already, check it out. All products I've used today will be linked down below. So check it out if you want to get your hands on this glow primer. I really can't recommend this one enough. I think this might actually be... Yeah. I think this is my favourite product to come out this year. Of 2020, number one release product. This is the top, top top tier product. I really shouldn't be saying top tier or tier or anything to do with tiers right now, given the situation that we're in. But this is the number one product for me of this year. So I really, really like this and I really highly recommend you guys check this out. If you get one thing from today's video, this would be the thing that I would say to pick up. So there's not really been any like foundation releases this year. Well, there is one I'm going to talk about. My Ride or Die foundation this year is not new, but it is the Urban Decay Stay Naked. Guys, you know this is my everyday foundation. I use this all the time to the point where I purposely go out of my way to not use it on YouTube sometimes just so that I give you guys a little bit of variety. But Stay Naked is without a doubt my favourite foundation of all time. It only came out the end of last year, so let's just throw it in with the favourites this year because it is my favourite foundation of 2020. I love this foundation. I think it is such a lovely formula, medium to buildable, but it never feels like heavy on the skin. It always feels really lightweight. I love how it sits. I love how it lasts during the day. I love that it can survive under a mask and not feel heavy and really like all foundations will wear away under the mask a little bit, but I feel this one fades into the skin really nicely, so it never looks really obvious, heavy, like patchiness when you take your mask off. It stays really nice on the skin. Yeah, this is my favourite foundation. I challenge anyone to bring out a foundation that I'm going to like more than it Stay Naked. You won't be able to. However, we did see a new foundation this year that I fell in love with, and that is the Too Faced Born This Way Matte. So I really, really like the original Born This Way foundation, but it's just not one that I ever think, like when I run out of it, I need to, need to, need to go and repurchase it right away. I like it, but it's not a game changer for me. I like it, but I don't love it. The Born This Way Matte, however, I really, really, really love this foundation. This... So obviously it's matte and I'm not always the most matte boy, but it's a 24 hour wear and it's a really nice finish. I like to team this with my All Nighter Ultra Glow. I think the two of them together look so nice. This one has got such a really nice finish on the skin. It wears so nicely as the day goes on. I wear the shade Warm Beige. It is a little bit dark for me, so I think I might get a lighter shade when I run out. But I will be repurchasing this. I really, really like it. It is new for this year. It is the only foundation that I've bought this year that I've loved that's new. So yeah, I really recommend this one as well. That's the Too Faced Born This Way Matte. Oh, grr. I will talk about this. Well worn. Really should have cleaned before I showed this to you on screen, but I didn't. This is the Vive Nova Glow Highlighter in the shade Holy Chic. When I tell you, I've been in a highlighter rut for a while. I've been using the same ones and no new ones ever really caught my eye. Until Miss Jamie Genevieve herself, who I should really not be surprised by, brought out this gorgeous highlighter. It's a really nice kind of pale gold. It looks so wet and silky on the skin. I have became obsessed with this. Since I got this, I don't think there's been a day went by that I've not worn it. I'm so obsessed with the formula of this highlight. It's so nice. I don't know what else to say. It's a highlighter, but it's the nicest highlighter. Packaging is lovely. Obviously mine is filthy because I have this out all the time. I tend to, when I'm filming and stuff, I always use a little mirror for this. And that's what I do with makeup in just because it's a really nice size for like keeping out of camera, that sort of thing. This highlighter, I really just really like it. Lovely formula. And of course it's 
by the makeup goddess Gina Genevieve herself so I have to support my fellow Scott and the number one inspiration to me as to why I do makeup so yeah if you haven't checked this highlighter out I really recommend this it's so nice okay so we're going to go into eyes now there's a couple of new brow products first that I'm going to talk about one is new 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 and one is a new version of so you guys know that Urban Decay Brow Blade is my ride or die holy grail brow product I always was shade brunette Betty but they brought out a new shade this year, Cool Cookie, which I have became so obsessed with. It's just a little bit less warm than the Brunette Betty. For me, I don't like to go too dark with my brows. Um, anyway, the hair strokes stuff, I like to keep my wee shade lighter than what they would naturally be, just so that the natural hairs have got a little bit of dimension. This one's nice because it's still a little bit lighter than my natural brow hair, but it's a little bit more ashy toned, so it just looks so nice. Game changing brow product, you guys know I'm obsessed with this and I'm even more obsessed with it now that I've got it in a new shade. This year also I really have fallen in love with the Inked Brow by Urban Decay. This, when I first seen this, I was like, it's not for me. Like, it's a little angled brush, almost like a liquid liner. I really was just like not feeling it, I didn't like the idea of it. And then I tried it, and I was wrong. This is a, like, up to 60 hour brow stain, so you can use this as a kind of transparent background colour for your brows. Kind of like a tint. What I love is that you can just draw it on and it sets. It's not anything gimmicky like a peel. It just tints your brows and gives it that kind of long lasting colour. Or how I like to use this is, I use the shade Dark Drapes, which is the darkest shade it comes in. And I'll get it on a little like liner brush or a really sharp or a really like heavy, like coarse angled brush. I use it to draw in little brow hairs. Just because if I layer that with my brow blade, it's two different tones, so I'll get a really nice 3D brow. I just really think this is a really cool product. I don't think I get enough hype, but I really, really do rate this inked brow. I think it's so nice, and I think that it's really good for just a quick tint of brow. And what's great is, it's not going to come off. So I really, really like this one. Check it out. Also, I will link all products below. Some of the links will be affiliate links, which obviously give me a little bit of a kickback when you guys purchase. I am, of course, a UT affiliate, and I do work for the brand, but my opinions are my own and in no way biased. Just products that I love and want to share with you guys, of course. Right, what's next in the eyes? So, there's two palettes that I want to talk to you guys about this year that have come out. And both of them I really, really love, which is surprising because both of them are quite colourful. And you know that I am a neutral brown basic B at heart. But these two palettes I just really love, so I'm going to show you them. I haven't cleaned these, so they actually could be disgusting when we open them, but I don't care. So this is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette, the volume 2. This came out at the start of the year, and I became really obsessed really quick with this palette. Obviously for me, this is a really, really colourful palette, but it's wearable colours, so I really like it. It's got these really nice pressed glitters, like I know I'm going to need this Rider Diamond shade in a single, like, in no time. The colours are all really nice for if you're someone who struggles with doing colourful looks and you want colours that are really easy to put together. They're all in that same kind of family of like pinks and oranges and purples and plums with your classic neutrals which Jaclyn Hill is known for. So it's a really easy palette that you can kind of pick and mix looks from and I really really like this one. The formula is great, Morphe Shadows are a great formula. Queen Jaclyn knows how to put a colour story together so it is a match made in heaven. The original palette is my favourite palette like of all time one of anyway. So the volume 2 the sequel and then guys you know I'm going to talk about the Carnival Love Tahiti palette by Be Perfect Cosmetics with Stacey and Marie this palette is like the third one of Stacey's collection with Be Perfect I love them all this one is gorgeous it's got a really nice variety of your warm tones I like it's got kind of khakis and stone colours through it as well and the purples and pinks. So many looks you can do with this palette. I really love this. I find it really does inspire me to play with colour. I love the formula. It's a really great palette if you're looking for someone who wants to do colour but also have those neutral palettes. A little bit of everything that you could do so many looks with. It's got really lovely like, kind of dual chrome sparkly shimmers in it too. So it's just a really nice palette. Like I just can't say enough about it. This is love. This became the year that I became obsessed with e.l.f. I love e.l.f. Cosmetics products. I got these little liquid glitter shadows and a 3 for 2, they're a silver and a gold. I'm going to get more because the colours are really nice. But one colour came out that I just fell straight in love with. And this is the Liquid Glitter Shadow in the shade Flirty Birdie. Which is so hard to say with a Scottish accent. But this is like the perfect nude sparkle. Like it just... Like I think it is actually permanent but it's a limited edition packaging because it was part of the Retro Paradise collection. But it's just the nicest kind of nude sparkle. Not silver, not gold. 
I really love this one. I think it's such a lovely colour. These are literally a matter of pounds, like a few pounds. Check it out. I'm going to be getting probably the full range of colours in these because they're so nice. This one's definitely my favourite though. Flirty birdie. Flirty birdie. To finish off the eye section of the day, I'm going to be talking about a mascara that I really did fall in love with this year and that is the Urban Decay Lash Freak Mascara. This mascara, like I'm always the believer of a mascara as a mascara and it's just a mascara but I was wrong when it comes to this one. So the brush for this mascara is so cool, like it's got one side of the brush has got a kind of curved slope with lots of little teeth that load your lashes up with the product, a little ball tip in the end to define any hard to reach areas and then this flat side which you can use to just kind of press and lift and it gives your lashes a really nice lifted, separated, super like elongated effect. Now for me, I love the lash streak because... Well, I would love to tell you about it, but there's been probably sirens going off. Is that people having illegal house parties when they're meant to be on lockdown? I don't know. So, why I love this mascara so much is, for me, normally, when I'm wearing mascaras on their own without falsies, I will always get dots up here. And I'll always find it will go through between my lashes because they're quite sparse, and I'll get me dots in my eyelids. So... I love Lash Streak because even on days when I'm just wearing no eye makeup and just a bit of mascara through my lashes, this one, it just separates my lashes and makes them look super long, super like volumised and I don't ever find that I get the dots on my brow bones so no transfer during the day so that's what makes it my favourite mascara of the year. I never thought I would see a mascara come out that would replace Perversion as my favourite but I think this one could be really, really, really close competition. And then we're going to move on to just a couple of little lip products that I've loved this year. Again, if you're a regular on this channel, none of these will come as a surprise to you because I use them all the time. Whoever thought that a lip liner would replace Sweet Tea by Morphe as my favourite? Well, still Morphe, but along came Little Miss Bite Me. Guys, this is my favourite lip liner. It's a dark brown which I normally steer clear of, but this one is just special. Like, it just gives your lips the nicest definition. It's just the perfect tone. It's not as warm, but it's not too warm. It's not too pink. It's just this really nice deep lip liner. It's a couple of pounds and I love it. I use it all the time. I just feel it's so perfect with so many lipsticks. You guys know this is my favourite lip liner. Like, my favourite lip liner. And I only discovered it this year. I remember I kept seeing this when people were doing like lockdown videos and stuff during lockdown number one. And my, my Mitchell was using it all the time. And every time I went to the website, it was sold out. When it finally came back in stock, I bought like four. I love it. Bite me. I love it. Morphe lip liners are great as it is anyway, but the Bite Me is just that extra special colour that I really love. Really love. A lipstick I'll be in love with this year is the Fenty Beauty. The, her product always got a pure long name. So this is the Fenty Beauty Slip Shine Sheer Shiny Lipstick in the shade Makeout Break. It is a pinky nude, like I really love this colour. It's nice for, if you want to just give your lips a touch of colour, a little bit of a nude without being too nude. The formula is lovely of this, like I really think it's lovely. It's my like favourite new lipstick that came out this year that I bought. I just think it gives the lips the nicest sheen, nicest colour. Again, if you want a gloss but you don't want to be glossy, you don't want to be gloopy, a sheer lipstick like this, like, you can't go wrong. And this colour by Miss Rihanna, Miss Fenty, it's so nice. And then another lip gloss that I fell in love with this year was from Morphe. This is the Chill Lip Gloss. Guys, if you want a lip gloss that is nude, peachy nude, pale and peachy nude, that just makes any lip look gorgeous, this is the one. I am so obsessed with this. Like, I've already went through one, this is my second. It just makes everything look super like finished, popping, polished. And speaking of super popping and polished, another item from Vive. This is a modern matte lipstick from Vive in the shade Vive. This is a perfect kind of pale nude lip. It just is the perfect nudes. I would expect nothing less from the queen of nude lipsticks, but this is just such a nice lipstick. I'm going to feel that I'm going to be having this one in my collection for a while. But the formula of this is lovely, the colour is lovely, the tone is so nice. I put it on now but I've got a gloss on, it's not really going to go on nice. But I just think this is a perfect lipstick which for adding that pop of like colour to your lips, that nice kind of nude with a brown liner, bit of chill lip gloss on top, can't go wrong. I thought I was done, I forgot something. This came out this year too, this is the MAC Fix Plus Magic Radiance. Guys, if you've not tried this, you need it in your life. We know I love the MAC Fix Plus in general. Magic Radiance is an all dehydrating spray with vitamin C. It's like a skincare version of Fix Plus. I use this most nights after I've done all my skincare and I wake up with the nicest skin the next day. Kind of think of this as like a setting spray for your skincare. 
spray your face with this when you've done your skincare and you wake up with a nice glow the next day. I should have included this earlier on because this is a product I cannot be without. I love, 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 love this. It's so good. So yeah guys, that about wraps up my favourites of 2020. Last video of the year, let's make it one all about my favourite products. I don't know about you, but I am so happy 2020 is over. I'm so excited to see what 2021 brings. Hopefully lots of positive vibes and a much better year than we've all had this year. So yeah, if you guys are not already, then let's make sure today is the day that you hit that subscribe button, ring the bell so you don't miss any future uploads from me, and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it, it really helps me out. I will put all my other social medias on the screen somewhere so you guys can follow me there and we can become the best of friends. Let me know in the comments if any of my 2020 favourites are also your 2020 favourites. I would love to know and let me know if there's anything you're going to pick up after watching this video because everyone's going to be linked below anyway. So so you can have a little browse and a little shop and yeah I am going to jump off and chill it is New Year's Eve after all and yeah thank you so much for watching guys I will see you in the next video I will see you in the new year bye